Is Natasha worth a damn? Let's just be real about it. Um, so far, I've used her. She isn't bad, but I don't know if she's worth it. So, instead of in-depth guy, we're going to do some research and development. Let's get to it. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I'm gonna go research and development on Steel Natasha Irons. Um, I like her, but actually, and we'll decide this real time. I'll see real time. I have enough frags to take her L4. I'm not sure that I'm gonna use her that much, and I do have some other tunes that I kind of want to rebirth right now. I'm actually getting onto the list of where like I won't have any more tunes to take legendary. Like, I've, like, run out of tunes to take Legendary. In fact, we can go back because I was trying to figure out a tune to take Legendary or, like, to, to level up. And I think maybe Granny Goodness is still not Legendary yet. But, I, you know, you have to rank them up in order to complete some of the daily stuff. And whenever I get close to completing all the daily stuff, the rank up is the last one. And as you can see, I think they're all Legendary with the exception of one. And that is Joker... Damage goods because that was a trash Joker. Give him credit. He tried to be different, um, but it failed. So, I mean, you tried. Oops. And um, I can't take him legendary because, as you can see, I've absolutely refused to gather any of his frags whenever they've been available. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the Joker elitist in me or the Batman and Joker elitist in me. Joker being one of the best villains of all time and... That being the absolute worst version of Joker to ever be created. So, uh, let's get back to Natasha. But before we do that, I'm going to read a couple of your comments. Try to do this a little bit more often at the beginning of the videos. Um, and Le, Le Beau Le Blog has a hot take, as he calls it. And it's kind of a hot take. Hot take. Parasite is good. Probably S tier, but I'm not sold yet. He's, the, he's in the conversation for best tune, but I think he's currently being overhyped stun him and move on the stun can work sometimes it doesn't what i've found to be more effective is when you put heal immunity on him which to me one of the best tunes dealing with him is red hood and actually another tune's really good at dealing with him unfortunately is specter because he puts heal immunity on the aoe and um red hood just lays out heal immunity all over the place uh one of the harder things to get past him is just every time you hit him he heals himself so if you have heal immunity on him it helps. Also, putting debuff or putting buff immunity on him does help. He may steal your buffs, but then it just becomes a purge because then he can't give the buffs to himself if you hit him, so that he doesn't necessarily get stronger and it keeps him from like stacking his own buffs or giving himself taunt and and and. So that can be helpful. Um, is he overhyped? And I see there's one reply here. Is that my reply or is that? Oh yeah, Gilberto Jr. Gilberto, I haven't heard from you in a minute, dude. I mean, you've been commenting recently, but shout out to you, my dude. Do um, you know that his death immunity and taunts are second, third turn, or two, three turn duration, right? And they are, and it's nuts. Um, just stun is not enough to stop him, and that's true. That is true. So I agree with both of you, actually. I think Parasite's riding a pretty good wave right now. He's really good, and I think people are loving him because he's basically removed a lot of the just standard teams at least for me you guys tell me if i'm just seeing something different um he's removed a lot of the standard like comps you would see the atrocitous teams that you see all the time the cheshires the triguns they're not as prevalent for me so far since parasite has been introduced because they just aren't as powerful so and on top of it they did it with parasite as tune who is very manageable it's very not, I won't say easy, but you can account for him and take him out pretty quickly. So it's not just that somebody can just put Atrocity, Supergirl, and, 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 and then just keep using that over and over again. You can't spam a PvP board with that. But because of Parasite, but also at the same time, Parasite can be taken out. And in different ways. You don't have to always have just Enchantress lead and, you know, whatever, whatever. So then you have um, Kara. What's up, Kara? And she has some good news here. Let me go ahead and give you a like and a heart. Let me give you a like and a heart. I uh, got good news. All my old characters came back after a reboot of my tablet, lost all the new characters. What the hell? How is that good news? I'm sorry, Kara. How the hell is that good news? So you get your... Kara, in case you didn't know, she's one of my day ones. Absolutely got a lot of love for Kara. And she said that she lost all of her old tunes and had to start her account over. That was... I want to say it was like six months ago she said that. Something might have even been longer ago. Um, 
Anyway, and then now she's rebooted the tablet and gotten the tunes back, her old tunes back, but then lost all the new ones. Like, what the hell? WB, help help girl out, man. What's up? And then you have, um, uh, oh, then we have ANFXF. And we're going to do this because I need to talk about this. And sorry, and then we'll get right into Natasha. I promise, 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 promise. So then we have the Power Girl, right? Power Girl, um, ANFXF, the winner of the Ultimate Kit Challenge, by the way. And if you want to participate in the Ultimate Kit Challenge, the new one coming up right now, the link is in the comment section below. Friday, this Friday will be the last day you can register to win, and then we'll start the new Ultimate Kit Challenge. Brother, did you get the skin for your first love, Power Girl? She was my first love in this game. I got the skin. It is garbage. Like, her face looks like she's constipated. Like, she has, she's had, she looks like such a Karen. She looks like a Karen in this skin. She so looks like a Karen. Therefore, I'm sticking with, and plus I never like, I was never a fan of the hot pants. I don't, I don't know why the, the booty shorts I'm not a fan of. I'll stick with this, right? The other one makes her look like an upset receptionist. So, here we go. Getting into Natasha. Thank you guys for the comments. Really appreciate it. And I gave you a, a like and a heart. Now. Natasha, I'm going to do a little bit of R&D on her real quick. I'm going to take her into PvP. I'm going to take her into Red Alerts. And then I'm going to decide if I want to take her L4 or not. I honestly believe that she might have been like perfectly viable or at her peak. How do I put this? At L2, meaning that there's a bunch of legendary skills that I don't necessarily want. Like, and then it means I can just leave her at L2 and save those purple resources. Because I don't know if those legendary abilities are going to make her any better. You guys correct me if you think I'm wrong. Damage to a single enemy can't miss on wrist cannon. 70% uh, chance to repeat the attack against the target. So you could do it twice on the A1. And the legendary is purge one awareness on the target before you damage. I'm guessing this is something to deal with Cheshire. So you can go ahead and remove one of the awareness, then hit, and that'll take out another awareness, which would be two technically. And then if she does it again, 70% chance, that means she would take away four awarenesses, uh, uh, you know, essentially, in that whole little... And that whole little thing. And I did ring her all the way out. I don't even know why I did that. I just did. Um, if target is a teammate, apply 50% shield. If 50%, if target is an enemy, remove 50% shield. Which, I mean, I guess would be good if she's going up against lanterns. And someone did ask if I'm going to do a Star Wars review. That's um, Batman MK2. And I will. And this is going to go towards something that I'm going to ask you guys to help me out with for the next video. But I plan on doing a Star Wars when he comes out. Um, just had to get to that real quick. Legendary point. Also, if target is a teammate, call assist from the target, uh, call assist from it, targeting a random enemy. If the target is an enemy, use wrist cannon on it. So the legendary point is almost like, to me, absolutely necessary for the A2 to even mean anything. Like, I can use the A2 on an, an ally. I like Parasite, give him more shield, give Metallo more shield. Now, I've used him on, on Metallo more often, actually. I'm using on Metallo, for example, give some more health, quote unquote, shield to my Taunter to help them with survivability, and then also call assist on them so if they have any kind of special ability that they do on their A1, you get that. But then at the same time, thinking about it on the enemy, I could use Risk Cannon, which would then go twice, potentially, 70% chance of that happening. And if they didn't have shield, it still could kind of be effective. So I have to think on that one. Kinetic Hammer, damage on a single enemy. 50% chance to apply stun and purge all intelligence ups on the target. 50% chance to apply stun and then to purge all intelligence ups. If no intelligence ups on the target, gain 50% shield. Now, here's the thing. This legendary ability here at the L1, the reason why I wouldn't take that is because he has a good remove for awareness by the end of it all. But I don't know that... I don't know how useful that's going to be. Hell, I got her L3 right now, and I haven't put down one of the legendary crystals. So maybe I'll make a decision on that right now and then decide L4 later. Anyway, so then I would think that if I got four awareness away, but maybe I'm thinking too solo. So the thought process is if I got four awareness away, then what I'm going to do by the time it gets to her turn again. Uh, however, if I do get those four awareness away, then that opens her up Cheshire, for example, whoever has all those awareness for another attack, or if there's only two awareness and then I get that 70% chance to hit again, I get two more hits because you're going to attack anyway. So maybe it's worth that on the L1, the legendary ability for the L3. Also, if target was stunned already, extra damage. Extra damage is vague as hell, bro. I need to know how much extra damage. 
because uh, if it's like 10%, no. Passive ability. On combat AI, when an enemy evades an attack, use risk cannon on a random enemy. So if an enemy uh, uh, if an enemy evades attack, period, you're going to use the A1. Also call assist from two random teammates. If an ally misses, if someone misses, when an enemy evades an attack, so if an enemy evades an attack, I feel like I need a pen. If an enemy evades an attack, sorry for disappearing. If an enemy evades an attack, right? then that means that you would attack that enemy with wrist cannon and then call assist on that for with two other enemies. So I really need to be on a lookout for combat AI or two other, I'm um, sorry, two other allies um, if an enemy evades. Then I'll have wrist cannon, wrist cannon and call assist and then the second call assist 50 percent chance of doing that huh. hmm i mean i took that legendary point but now i'm just trying to consider it as i go into the research and development part of it at the start of an enemy's turn 25 percent chance to use kinetic hammer on them sure and then also purge all positive immunities on the target at the start of enemy's turn 25% chance to use kinetic hammer. And so here's the thing. This is the problem. There's a 25% gate to purge all those buffs, which means that it should happen once for every single tune. Should. But 25% is a low chance. So it's a very good chance it won't happen. 25% is a low chance. Here, I get extra damage if a target is stunned already. I do extra damage. So I'm leaning towards using the A1 where I would remove awareness. That seems like such a basic ass thing though sorry for cursing oops um oh i guess i'll go with the see i want to know how much extra damage that is if they're already stunned so there's another gate there and the other one has a 25 percent gate this one is the only one that has no gate but it's not always going to happen because not everyone's going to have awareness. This is very Cheshire. I'm just going to do it. It's very Cheshire-centric. Cheshire that wasn't hard for me to say at all. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the uh, my red alerts. Let's see if I have an, um, an evasion team up. Oh, well, there's a Cheshire right there. I went at this kind of weird. I was trying to be cute. You see the team I had built up. All right, so if we have uh, Natasha. No, I could be a jerk. I could be a jerk in this, right? We'll put Natasha up. Now, building for red alerts, I'm looking for long-term survive, survivability a little bit more than um, just getting through it. So I kind of want to leave Lex in. We're already at a disadvantage because it's red alerts, and they've already had their chance to go. Um, Cheshire's going to be a problem, and so is. So let's go ahead and put... Do I have Poison Ivy over there? There's Poison Ivy out here chilling. There's Poison Ivy. And now we have to deal with all of those buffs from Terra, which makes me want to put in Wonder Girl. However, I feel like this is not going to work out well for you, boy. So I put in Shazam to protect us. I don't know if Chesh uh, Cheshire can one-shot uh, Shazam. Let's see. Maybe I'll go with that. This seems like a bad setup. I'm using Lex for the heals. I'm using Poison Ivy for the heals and removal of the debuffs. I'm using Shazam for protection. And then Natasha is going to be there to try to help us take out Cheshire. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. And then if enemy evades, if an enemy evades combat AI, that means there should be a call assist and risk cannon used. So let's see if it goes down like that. All right. So then we go ahead and put the damage immunity and the taunt back on us. Oh, there's no... All right, let's see if I can stun Trigun with the hammer. Yep, he's stunned. Cool, 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 cool. Go ahead and put that taunt back over there. Ooh, and there goes Terra. Good hit, Shazam. We love you for it, bro. All right, so then this... Oh, nope, immune, so... What about that? She evaded. So there's that, call assist. Wrist cannon was used. And then there was two call assists right there. Albeit they missed... Or be a Shazam miss, I should say. So I took shield from him and then used wrist cannon on the A2. All right, so let's try to get... Oh, 
Let's try to get some of these staminas and buffs so that way we can get rid of some of the debuffs and let's get some overheal from Lex. Chesh is putting that work in on Shazam, got him out of the paint. We don't like it. We don't like it at all. How dare you? Okay, so now L1 from Natasha is what we're looking for for Cheshire. One, two, mm, 70% chance. Didn't go. 70% chance. Funny how little 70% seems to be according to my RNG. All right, let's try this L1 one more time. She does have some disease back on her. Thank you, Poison Abe. Um, want to put the debuff immunity or put the buff immunity up on um, Trigon. She's got a lot of disease over there, Cheshire. What's going on with you? There's two. See, and then she's still 70% chance is apparently very, very low according to um, according to my RNG. All right, so we can erg 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 erg. I guess put some disease on Trigon. I don't think we're gonna get out of this alive. We'll see. Cheshire's gone. Cool. I think. Oh, I'm surprised all that disease didn't kill us. Gotta be real about that. All right. Um, let's try to stun Trigun. He has a lot of disease on him. I was hoping that if we stun him, oof, oof. Well, we can just put this taunt on. Oh, I can't even put the taunt on uh, Poison Ivy. Okay, so we'll get some more buffs out there. Let's see. Oof. Oof, we do not like this. Uh, we'll put some shield up on. I can't even put shield up on myself for Natasha. We don't like it. Call assist there on Natasha. That's fine. We'll take it. Um, there's no reason I should put a taunt on Natasha, by the way. That was a horrible decision for my part, just so you guys know. Don't ever do that. That was dumb. All right. There is a whole lot of disease and bleeds over there on Trigon, yo. It's a lot of them. It is a lot of them. Let's go ahead and get those stamina ups out there to us. Get some more heal over heal. Trigun had a lot. Ooh, he hurting himself. We like it. We do like it. We do like it. I don't. I can't steal buffs with this thing. So, can I buff myself though? She doesn't gain buffs either, right? She only gains shield. So then I am going to. Shield up, I guess, Lex a little bit since he has a whole bunch of disease over there. Mm. Natasha looks like she's about to fall. Got a little bit there. A little bit there. We, we. Oh, Trigon fell. We love to see it. All right. Now, take her into PvP, then I'll call it a video. I mean, she seems good. I like the call assist thing. We didn't see her uh, A1 go twice at all there, despite using it a couple times. At least, unless I missed it. Um, but I didn't see it go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. And now we gotta be careful. Okay. I mean, I could put her in here. The worry is, is I don't think she's thick enough to deal with Wonder Woman cracking her whip twice even. End up in a bad way real quick. And actually, while I'm thinking about this, hey guys, I need you to tell me what tunes you need next. So whoever just replies fast enough or whatever, I'm going to do another versus, but I don't know which of the tunes that are stat boosts that I should do. We have Ocean Master. We have John Kent. We have Giganta. Who are the other two? that I'm forgetting right now. I could even go check the Reddit if I wanted to. But of those tunes that are in the, I guess I'll put Parasite in, right? I have to put in Enchantress because of this, because of the way this is set up. Can't wait, let's see here. We'll go there real quick and then I'll check it out. I'm trying to think of the, remember the other two, Beast Boy, Ocean Master, Giganta, Aqualad again. Y'all keep trying to make that boy work. Y'all just y'all just keep trying to make him work. That is not a uh, Reddit. DC Legends. Oh, that's not it. How you spell DC Legends at all? Apparently, this is not my mother tongue. All right, cool. Now, what's up next? 
there, there's an argument to use Donna Troy there. I'm not gonna use her, but there's an argument. I could put in Tara to get, make us a little bit beefier and to keep those debuff immunities off of us. This team is kind of cupcake in the sense that, oh, wow, I see what y'all doing. They got, they have Metallo in there at 2KL1, which means he's going to die immediately. And then Spectre gets a chance to go off. So let's put Superboy in there to deal with the Spectre of it all. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, you tricky SOB. All right, so then let's go ahead and put in Terra. All right, let's see. And now we'll go over here to DC Legends on Reddit. So I can ask you guys, and actually I'll put it up in the community tab. Just vote, Let I mean, just before, uh, uh, just continue here, just vote. All right, so they've already gone off. Oh, and of course, we didn't get our damage immunity. Thank you. Lately, like lately, Enchantress has, not been, has been proccing her damage immunity like once every 20 times I use her. It's obnoxious, so obnoxious. I am not a fan. Anyway, let's go ahead and run that one more time. It's already gone longer than I expected it. Was that which Atrocitus team was that? Just when I got done saying, like, there's not as many Atrocitus teams. I mean, there's only, well, no, there's five, six, seven. All right. Apparently, I'm not paying attention. This hasn't stopped Atrocitus at all. All right, let's go ahead and one more time. All right, so of the stat boost tunes, it is Ocean Master, Beast Boy, Giganta, Aqualad, Superboy. So I'll put up a community poll. You guys let me know. She still didn't put up the damage immunity. You guys let me know. Which ones do you want me to work on? Just vote. This is ridiculous. You see this? You see this? You see this? One more time. She has a 75% chance of getting damage immunity. Of giving damage immunity to everybody. Two times in a row. Didn't happen. Just like 70% chance for Natasha to use her A1 twice. Guess what? Two times in a row. Didn't happen. That's why I don't play the lottery. I mean, if it happens like this with a 70% chance. Damn it, man. But yeah. And actually, you know what? I'm going to say this right now. I'm not going to do an Ocean Master. That was why I brought up the Starro thing. Oh, we got damage immunity. Yay. Um, that's why I brought up the Starro thing, the comment that we had. I am going to do a guide on him or like... At least work on them. Um, and so then before I make this move, Ocean Master is not in there because my Ocean Master, I don't even think he's 7011 after the double check. So I would have to use a lot of mystic resources to level him up. And I'm saving those resources for Starro. So then just go for Beast Boy, Giganta, Aqualad. I have 7011, unfortunately. And then Superboy. So yeah, just go from those. And they'll be on the list, but I'm giving you a reason why it's not happening now. Um... Now, I kind of want to stun, and also, so here's a tip. I'm going to try to stun uh, Spectre. Didn't work, but that's fine. I'm actually about to stun him now with Superboy. The reason why I did that was because if I hit Supergirl and she's enraged, then Atrocitus was going to hit Natasha. So we got him stunned. We were able to kill Metallo. We're good there. We can put up all these buffs, put up the damage immunity again because we don't have... We don't have Parasite there to take care of us. <laughs> um, and then let's go ahead and get rid of this awareness from, and you know what, might as well use the A1 because if extra damage is extra damage, but guess what, didn't work. All right, so we can go ahead and take Spectre out. Oh, he doesn't have, why does Spectre have death immunity? Oh, Supergirl. He has death immunity from Supergirl. That's what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one more time. All right, all right. If you're going at it, what were those out of? Boom, we'll take it. We'll take it. 25% chance to use kinetic hammer before their turn. That was it. That was it. That's where that was coming from. All right, so let's go ahead and use the AOE attack. Looks like we got it covered. I like her. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use her, though. Because energy tunes aren't really, I mean, outside of Supergirl, unless you're doing crazy damage. But she's calling assisting. She's giving shields. She's using kinetic. It's called kinetic hammer, right? She's using kinetic hammer out of turn. I mean, she might be legit. She might be legit. I mean, we got past this team. Once we got the damage media, we got past this team relatively easy. So this video, all, I say that now and we're about to probably lose. 
uh, I don't know. We're going to do that. And then call assist on Connor to put that stunt out there. And then should be all over but the crying. She's losing no health. Cool. So, thank you guys for watching. And actually, what I'll do right now, just to be on the safe side, is I'll check to see if Ocean Master is leveled up. I do like Natasha. I think I should work with her more. I don't think she would be a part of any regular roster, just given the meta. But I don't think she's a bad two and a half. I think she's pretty good. So, Ocean Master here, I have L3 because, you know, got to do that ranking up thing. But he's, he's level 15, <laughs> gear three and a half. All right. So... He's not going to be on that list. Sorry. Because I got to take care of Starro. Anyway, thank you guys for watching all the way through. See you guys. Oh, please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, hit subscribe and dislike. I'm okay with that as well. I almost forgot to say that for the first time in two and a half years. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.